stopped for the night at a uh, particularly good campsite and uh, Ian has volunteered to actually cook, make some uh, damper tonight. Jim's going to go fishing later on, he's getting his fishing gear ready and uh, we've got the fire going here for the damper and we're going to wave in front of the camera again like we always do and uh, yes, Camp Neil Junction, wow. You can't say, I can't say we're at Neil Junction, we're about 40 kilometres away from Neil Junction, but we'll call it Neil Junction for the video, eh? Have a look at the spin effects, isn't it good? And we got the wire going to the back of the car there, and um, we're going to talk on the radio. So, uh, have a look at that red soil, isn't that absolutely magnificent? Beautiful spin effects. and not a sound except for the cussing as Jim tries to adjust his uh, fishing gear. Ian's all getting all set up for the night here. He's, he's pretty efficient this bloke. He's got, his, he's got his swag already set up. He's got his gear there. He's got his shovel. He's got, he's got the damper ready to go. All I've done is put a bit of fuel in the tank and very little else. Uh, Jim's got all this gear out here, all the stuff out the car has been pulled out and it's all in a mess on the on the ground there, it's got tables and chairs and all stuff we sit on and use to make uh, damper and stuff like that. He's, he's got rid of 40 litres of his fuel on top and he's put it underneath like a good little camper and uh, there's his um, uh, little uh, rabbit hutch down there and we've got little fishing rods that go in there that hold the hutch in its little shape and he's having a little bit of strife with them and he's He's rubbing a little bit of rubbing alcohol on them, just sort of get, make them uh, he's gonna, he's gonna make them behave. Jim doing this. He's got a video you doing this. Yeah, Jim's going to uh, try and do this now. He's he's been frustrated the last three nights, but and um, he's had a bit of trouble with putting these things in there. See, they've got to slide in, and they at the demonstration at the uh, caravan and camping show, everything went quite well. But it seems to be that most these people at caravan and camping shows don't actually get their stuff dirty. They actually set it up in showrooms all the time, so uh, anyway, um, because this is a PG rated video, I think I'd better shut the video off at the moment, because I think there might be some stuff unsuitable for children, <laughs> so uh, anyway, it's an absolute, have a look, look, I can't stress enough, have a look at that red soil. True story, air's rough, Uluru, Margaret and I chaperoned the Rachel Exchange students, and they're all told, because this rock has mystical powers within the Aboriginal dream time, do not touch it, it's like the cathedral. Back in Europe you would never ever take apart from the other cathedral in England. We, they were then told that. We then left Uluru and went to Kings Canyon and then we went, then went to the camel farm. At the camel farm. Very, very rarely does this happen. But two lots of students, you, know, you get two students per camel, two of the students in two lots, four students, fell off the camel, we had to actually get the ambulance from Alice Springs to come and take two of them to the hospital. That evening we found out that the four students that fell off and the two that had to go to hospital had all taken a part of Ayers Rock. And that got, it, that got around the students very, very well. And also we found out the number of bits of Ayers Rock that gets posted back from overseas is incredible because people believe it's brought them bad luck. Yeah. All the problems they've had. So don't take a part of Ayers Rock back to Port Pirie because it'll be on your shoulders for the disasters that happen. And hopefully Jim and I won't be with you when it's happened. <laughs> You reckon the Gadashi man's got his little bow and... Yeah. That looks all right, Jim. What is it? Neil Junction Damper. Have a look at this. Made by Ian Phillips. Have a look at this. I've got a bit of, uh, got a bit of jam on mine. And it's absolutely magnificent. Yeah. Ian's a bit upset at the moment. No, he's not. Because uh, we're eating his damper. Mm -hmm. And he hadn't even had a chance to have a bit himself, no. and he cooked it. Is that right? That's right. Lovely. Bloody beautiful, he says. 
but light, the light wasn't in quite the right spot for him. Sorry, I was wanting to get some cheese. I was going to have cheese on my damper. Cheese on damper? Oh, beautiful. Hot damper. Just let the cheese just melt into it a bit. Ready to roll this morning. Jim says he'll be back. He's done an Arnold Schwarzenegger.